Okay, I'm ready. Uh, you ready? Yep. Oh, Ooh, that one had a delay or something. Oh, that was sketchy. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mounts. We have a wicked new slug to show you today. This one's called the Bionic Brass. Now these were designed and machined by Tim Hamilton of Ballistic Machinist Channel on YouTube. Be sure to check him out. He'd love to have you on board. Now these have six flutes going down the sides, essentially giving it 12 pretty sharp cutting edges. Each slug weighs about one eighth of an ounce or about 24 grams. And this is the first time these have ever been tested. Hi right, everyone, it's Josh here. Uh, I told my friends at home, uh, a little busy right now, but I'll be back when I can. Uh, next we're shooting this uh, experimental sluggish thing uh, with no rifling out of the smoothbore uh, barrel, so here we go. The first target is this gigantic block of wood. Wow, I think he hit it. Now this first shot was done without any rifling, so we don't have any spin stabilization. And as you can see, the slug is having problems. It was tumbling along. And the shot was a little bit high. That's kind of typical for someone who hasn't shot my shotgun before. Now even though we didn't have any stabilization, the slug was essentially tumbling and flying sideways. It still had a, a lot of energy, and it was just brute force that just shoved it right through that block of wood. This block of wood was just a, a tad under six inches thick. I expected the uh, slug to make it about halfway through and we would be able to recover the slug, but it had so much energy it just went right through and split that sucker in half. The next target is this one gallon jug full of sopping wet junk mail and our shooter this time is Baron. Yeah, I think that worked. The shot this time looked like it was dead center and we were able to recover the slug this time using a piece of Kevlar body armor, kind of working like a big catcher's mitt. And look at that slug, there's like no damage at all to it. Now if that was made out of lead it'd be unrecognizable. And once again this shot was taken without any rifling, just out of a smooth bore. And it was just good old inertia that kept this thing on target, this, the shot was very accurate couldn't ask for a better shot, but we didn't have any stability at all. For the next test, we will use a rifle choke tube. Some people will call this a paradox. And basically, it's about six inches of rifling just threaded on the end of the smoothbore shotgun. And we'll be shooting at Doug. He's wearing a Kevlar body armor panel, and this vest has never been shot before. Okay, see that was more normal. Okay, he didn't hit the orange triangle, so let's see what happened here. Now even though he was off by a few inches, I was just happy everything was still in the camera frame. Now using the rifle choke tube to give it a little bit of a spin, we now have stability. The slug traveling over 1600 feet per second with those 12 sharp cutting edges it sliced through that Kevlar vest like it wasn't even there. And we had hoped this slug would be stable in both the unrifled and rifled applications, but it definitely needs a little bit of spin for stability. Okay, that one, uh, that one went right through the vest. And right through uh, Doug there. Probably exited. Wow. Even though the slug was tumbling like crazy out of a smooth bore without the spin stabilization, it still proved to be pretty accurate at that relatively close distance they were shooting. And I'm going to blame the inaccuracy on this shot just because he was kind of freehanding the shotgun. Now out of a fully rifled shotgun, I'm certain this slug will perform as well or even better than this. At the very worst, you might shoot a, lot, hot, a little high or something, but yeah, remember, line up with that rear sight, that little weird beat. Okay, we're firing. Alright, ready? 
Anytime you're ready. Wow. I think he hit it. I think he hit it. That was good. I bet we won't find that one. That was a lot more accurate. Let's put it right down the middle. Okay, we're shooting the custom made turbine blast frogs out of the custom Scott L shotgun. <laughs> Should okay. be good. <laughs> God. Now coming up we've got more wild shotgun slug designs including this. We've got another French shotgun slug and of course we've got another unusual slug by Tim Hamilton. Thanks for watching.